Yeah, and it was uh, kids really fought hard. Um, that was a really good team we played. They came in playing well. They played well. They had over 500 yards. Um, we actually did a lot better on offense, which was critical. And we got some run game going. Took a lot of pressure off the quarterback with that. Didn't finish some couple drives early. We can always call and execute better. But uh, it was a good win. It was a tough win. Uh, it's a great group of guys in there. They keep uh, giving us a great going practice. I think the way they've battled the last couple games down the stretch, you know, there's, there's some talent and the way they prepare good. And there's, there's a lot of fight in those guys. But it's just nice to come out and get a good start, not play perfect, but play a little bit better four quarters against what I think is a real good team. And that was a good W. Our guys needed it. It was fun. And uh, we'll, we'll enjoy it. But we, we come back tomorrow with going to Rutgers on the road. It'll be tough. They're coming. Had an open date themselves, so that's going to be a tough challenge. So it's good to get a win, and that's all it was. It was just one win, and we need to get many more. How did you guys kind of come up with the Allen AP quarterback, Xander, running back package? Um, it was just, you know, just the thoughts of of um, Tyler played quarterback. Right. You know, so it was just just trying to get some running game with some misdirection. You know, and uh, again, Xander's been you know really good. There's some limitations he has with, with, with some of the passing. There's some limitations Richard has with running. In the ideal world, you got to, you know, because of Sam Bradford and because of stuff, everything, so we want a tall guy. I mean, I'd love to have a dude that could run for 150 a game and throw for 300. And, you know, I mean, that's what you, I mean, because it's just so hard to defend the run in the pass, especially the quarterback guys. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, but again, Xander made a great throw to Ricky. One of the deals, Tyler was you know, was on a bootleg pass that he didn't throw. We'll keep working on it. That's not the answer, though, because that can get schemed up. That can get defended. We'll have to stay ahead of it. We're just, we're just trying to find some running game. And we went from no running game to, to a really good one tonight. So it's the same guys that couldn't block. We just gave them a little bit better chance. And again, credit to kids. We put some stuff in, but they had to execute it, and they did. That's credit to those guys. And then we didn't, we didn't add anything. We just kind of wrinkled up stuff we do. And they executed it pretty good. Well, you got to, uh, well, you need to. But again, when you got some running game going, all that stuff's easy. And when you got a few, several weeks where you're playing good defenses and you can't find the running game or you don't create it or you're not blocking or you just don't scheme it up and get it right and you're playing one dimensional, it's a lot easier to be defended. And so to, to the, the key of, of a lot of our good games over time has been finding a run game. And, and fortunately, we did today. And that was huge. It was one of your better, uh, one of your better defensive efforts overall in terms of how many yards you gave up, but Marcus Oliver has those two big plays, and Marcelino Ball has a pick and the fumble recovery. Just talk about those guys. Yeah, they, um, um, you know, we had the one interception. We had the one, um, did we get a fumble recovery? Mm -hmm. Then we, so we, we have one, the, you know, so they created a couple turnovers for us. Uh, they were good in third down conversions, you know, less, less than 50. I'd like to be a little bit better. I mean, they were pretty dynamic coming on offense with their run game. And they worked us pretty good. I think again, our offense, you know, we had 83 plays at 84. You know, our offense having some run game, you know, helping us a little bit. We could have kept them off the field. Uh, what they had, uh, four and a half more minutes of time of possession on one play. So you know, it been, been, been nice to to have had a few more plays on offense. We had 34 first downs. So I think the offense played well, helping the D. The D had a good challenge. I mean, those those guys that the couple of receivers are fast in space. They they had some foul balls we got away with because they missed a couple guys. But those running backs are really dynamic, and you got to give those guys some credit. You know, the one kid had a 66-yard run. Um, they, our defense had their hands full. But in college football, you can play really good defense and give up 30, 35 points if you're not careful. I thought we can play better, but we played good D tonight. We had some foolish penalties, negative things that we got to take away. I think about, I guess, part of Yeah, we had a lot better week in practice. And I think, you know, after playing last week, Dan was a lot more assertive just practicing like he used to. He's running. I know the other day we did one of those plays where he pulls and he's like 40, 55, 50 yards downfield, just running downfield. And like his comment was to our team Thursday night, we had our captain's meeting. He said, that's the most, Wednesday's the most fun I've had in a long time. And so I just think, you know, having the fun, having some fun, having the energy. In general, they practice that way. You know, everybody practices hard. But like we said a long time ago when we started here, we wanted to learn to have fun working hard. I think at a radio show one day, Marcus Oliver said practices are fun. I thought Dan had a lot of fun this week in practice. I think that put a lot of spark in the guys. It wasn't a lot of big pep talks, but I think Dan's Dan flying around like he used to was a was was worth a lot of words and a lot of motivation for our football team. Was, was part of getting the offense going today, 
really trying to take advantage of everything in your disposal and the personnel. It looked like you guys kind of took you know, the whole buffet today. Um, again, each week's different with um, uh, schemes. Like a lot of things we did today, we wouldn't have done last week because of the structure of the defense. So each week, it's it's a little bit different. And uh, I know our kids came in the other day and said, "Hey, we're going to play hard on Sunday." Our our offensive senior said, "We're going to play hard, but 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 don't scheme so much. Do what we do." And I said, "Well, now wait a minute. It's a different defense this week, and there's different things we got to do." And uh, and so some of the things we did was just kind of the nature of what we do versus their structure. But again, you got to execute it. There's a lot of a lot of nice plays on, on on the passing game that helped us one on one. And running game was good. Yeah, what else? He's all right. I mean, throws with the wrong hand. <laughs> so, he's a lefty. So, but you know, he's uh, he's okay. I mean, he throws it well. He's got big, he's got great hands. He actually has big hands. Um, and again, he played one game with 100 yards. So that's not a novelty. You guys are gonna get in all the nicknames. So that's, that's a freshman kid. Uh, they got injured in preseason, uh, and with that, we tried to find our niche of are we a two back team or not, and how to get him on the field and use him. And we're, we're working through that. And like I say, it's, it's, um, he's a young guy that played one good game. He's, a, he's, he's got a chance to be a good player moving forward, but he's got a long way to go. And I think sometimes the uniqueness of what he does makes it cooler than it really is. What he really is, he's a freshman. He's a young kid. He's got a chance to be a good player if he keeps working hard. Xander has the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, but you didn't hesitate to come back to him on the next drive? Yeah, I just I, I, we talked about it after the game. I mean, there's a point of – uh, um, even on the last touchdown run, there's a point of it's not, you know, you got to just, his energy and emotion is what makes him good. Don't cross the line. And you got to push up to it. And every once in a while, he tips over it. And without being negative on him, he's now old enough. He needs to learn from that and he needs to stop because he knows how to bring his energy and he knows how to respect the game and respect players. And he, he's, he'll do better. He better. And he knows that. And we, we just politely talk about not crossing the line. And, uh, I'm, but I'm very proud of a guy that's competing hard to be the quarterback that can't be, that comes in and plays that way and accepts roles and has been a great practice player. And that's unusual because you're in a day and age where every quarterback wants to tap out and transfer versus why don't you just come to practice and work hard and get better. Quit worrying about the depth chart and who you're recruiting and the offense. Why don't you just work on your craft every day? And um, that's a credit to him um, because, because, quite honestly, uh, Richard Legos is more skilled and makes more plays as a quarterback and makes him many, many more throws. And it's going to be the guy that leads our team. But Xander has a unique specialness that can make us different. And I'm proud of, of the way he's handling that. Because that's un, that's that doesn't happen in college football a lot. And I was going to say, what well, you talked about Logan was, well, I think he was 16 to 25. I know he had one throw that kind of almost got picked off. But he also made some big ones, some third down throws. Did you feel like he was better today? I guess? Yeah, I think so. And uh, again, I don't know if he's been that far off. I mean, last week, you know, only thing, you, know, you, you, know you, you throw it 59 times. You know, it's just, you know, some things are going to happen. So, again, you know, you know, getting some run game and playing in rhythm as an offense helped him play in rhythm. And the quarterback always looks good when the surrounding parts are good. And today the surrounding parts are good. We blocked it better. We had run pass mix. We had run game. We moved change. We were on schedule. We weren't playing uphill. And I think it allowed him to, to, to you know, be collective and make plays. He had help. The, um, well, the first one was trying to get it. Um, when we went up by one, we didn't go for two to make it a two-point game. Uh, the, ne the next thought was, um, um, it, was at, it was at five. We needed to get to seven, and we didn't. And it's kind of 50-50 when we made it 11. Do you make it 12, which means they have to score uh, two touchdowns, or do you try to go to 13 afterwards? I told the guys, because the one guy says, hey, the chart says at 11, you should rate in this time of the game. Because we got all these things up there, all this analytical junk. Um, some of you guys do with your. I, you know, I actually read y'all stuff. You do your work for us. After I got to fire the GAs because you guys do all that analytical study and save us money. Don't tell Mr. Glass that. Um, but the uh, based on fourth quarter, you know whatever. It's like hey, go for it. And afterwards, I go you know. But 12 means they had to go for two. I gave them a chance if they make two to kick field goal. And like after we did, so whatever. Uh, the one was going to work pretty good if we wouldn't have if we'd have the exchange. But uh, anyway, my issue was in the first half, I didn't get a timeout called, and we didn't get a fourth down. That was more critical to me than two-point plays. 
They, they came out in a defense I didn't expect on third down, and I tried to get a timeout, and I was calling it. I need to be more demonstrative and get on the field. But in fact, Devine was looking at me when the ball was snapped, and we had a wasted play on third down that, 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 that got us a field goal. Um, and then the other situation, we got it third and in inches, and we run Q sneak, and, and really maybe not the best formation, and then went for it on fourth down, and we got to execute better. I put that on me.